Hello and welcome to eLearning Portal. In today's tutorial, we are going to explore a powerful tool that can help educators, trainers and course creators streamline the process of creating comprehensive course outlines for any subject. I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to create engaging and effective course outlines that will save you time and effort while ensuring your courses are top-notch. Let's dive right in. First, let's get acquainted with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an AI-powered language model developed by OpenAI. It's designed to generate human-like text based on the input it receives. It's a versatile tool that can assist in various writing tasks, including creating course outlines. Now, let's walk through the step-by-step -step process of using ChatGPT to create your comprehensive course. As I've mentioned before, ChatGPT needs the instructions to actually provide us with a course outline. So the instructions are called prompts. So we need to provide ChatGPT with a prompt uh, and be very specific in that particular prompt to actually allow ChatGPT to give us that course outline. So let's head on over to ChatGPT. If you're not logged in, log into your ChatGPT account. And here I've prepared a specific prompt for ChatGPT. So this is what an actual prompt looks like. Okay, You need to specify the course title, the target audience, the main subject, as well as the weeks or the modules if you want ChatGPT to divide it into weeks and modules. You can also include details such as learning objectives, topics to be covered, assessments and recommended resources. Okay, so I want to create a course or I want ChatGPT to create a course outline for teachers and uh, course creators uh, to use Moodle in there for course creation. Okay, so um, it says here, please provide a course outline for, what's my course title? I'll call this I call this using Moodle for course design. Okay, so this is my course title. Using Moodle for course design aimed at so who's my target audience so this will be course creators and teachers okay covering what's my main subject that i need to cover okay so the main subject will be using modal activities to create engaging learning material. Okay, with, do I want weeks or modules? I want modules. Modules, and how many modules do I want? So currently I want, let's call eight modules. So I'll remove that. And I'll leave include details such as learning objectives, topics to be covered, assessments, and recommended resources. Okay, I'll click on send message or enter button on my keyboard. And let's watch how ChatGPT provides us with a course outline. You'll see there's my title using Moodle for course design. There's my course description. Then I have my course duration is eight weeks. Remember, I've specified that it should be modules, but it provided me with weeks. Okay, we'll change that later. There's my learning objectives. Module one will be introduction to Moodle, and this is week one. Learning objective, understand the basics of Moodle, navigate the Moodle interface. This is the topics, what is Moodle and its history, exploring Moodle dashboard. The assessment will be based on Moodle basics and then recommended resources, Moodle official documentation and then the Moodle uh, community forums. Then in my module two, okay, so it's split it into modules. There's my modules, okay. There's module two. 
its course organization, which covers Moodle courses, creating a new course, editing and organizing your course sections, assessments. Then my module three will be Moodle activities. This is week four and five. These are the various Moodle activities. So we have forums, quizzes, assignments and more. We have an assessment on that. Then Moodle module four, engaging learners. And these topics are covered. And then module five will be assessments and evaluation. Uh, and here we cover effective assessments in Moodle, Moodle's grading and feedback features. We have a course quiz design and then grading and feedback back, uh, best practices. And then module six, we have best practices in course design. OK, so there we have the universal design for learning as well. So it's a really comprehensive breakdown or course outline that ChatGPT provided us. So, and now we can go back and see if this aligns with our course objectives, um, if it aligns with what we want to teach our target group, and if it's aligned to the modules that we uh, will be using in our courses. So currently we have eight modules, eight modules, um, and then we have a conclusion there. Okay. Now we start making adjustments. So you can copy this to so we'll copy this right up until the end. We'll right click and copy and then we'll open up a Word document. OK, so let's open a Word document there and then right click and then we'll use the merge formatting. OK, so there we have our course outline. So all we need to do now is go to Moodle and create our course outline. So let's head to Moodle and create the course outline that ChatGPT provided us. Okay. Now remember the prompt that I provided uh, ChatGPT. The prompt here. OK, so please provide me with a course outline. I've created uh, various prompts that you can download by clicking on the link in the description. You can click on that link and download all the prompts um, that you can use in either your course design or your lesson design. OK, and that's free. You click on the link and download it from my website. Let's head on over to Moodle. So yeah, I'm in Moodle. So we'll create a new course. Remember, our course name is using Moodle for course design and yours will be different. Uh, you will have a different title than uh, my course. OK, so let's create a course. So I'll turn editing on. I'll scroll down and then I'll create a new course here. And all I need to do now is copy and paste between ChatGPT or my Word document. OK, so I can either use ChatGPT for copy and paste or my Word document that I've used. OK, so I'll paste the short name will also be Moodle for course design using Moodle for course design. OK, I'll make sure that it's at the top category, which is ICT. Okay. I'll remove that course end date. For now, I'll specify it later on. And here's this course description. So here ChatGPT provided us with a course description. We can copy that. I'll copy that and I'll go back to my Moodle site. And here within my course description, I can paste it as is. So I'll paste it there. So there's my course description. I'll go back to ChatGPT. So here we have the course duration is eight weeks. And now we can specify here. We can set the course start date and the course end date to make um, make sure that it's eight weeks. Okay. Then we can scroll down. We can add a course image. Okay. Within the course format, we can actually specify here that it's a weekly format and it will be the number of weeks will be eight weeks. Okay. Then in our appearance, we can leave everything on its default, but I like to use the learn our theme for my theme for the course. I'll scroll down and I'll make sure that completion tracking is enable completion tracking is yes. Show activity completion conditions. Yes. 
and within the groups I'll specify separate groups because I'm, co I'm going to create separate groups for this. Okay, I'll leave the role in renaming on its default as well as tags. So that's it. I'll scroll down and I'll click on save and display. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. Okay, as we have here, eight modules. We can even have used the topics format, which will work even better. So go back to settings and we can choose the course format and we can choose the topics format. But for now, let's leave that as is. Okay, so we have our weeks here. And now we can specify our module name. So module one will be introduction. I can copy this. And I can go back to Moodle and I can paste it in here. I'll paste it in here and I'll press enter. So that will be my module net one. Go back, my module two. I'll copy that. Go back to Moodle and I'll paste it here. Press enter on my keyboard. This will be module two. I'll go back. There's my module three, which will be over two weeks so you'll see week four and five so that will be this week here paste i can even go this route and just remove the five and here i can remove the four okay so there's week four and week five i can do the same here let's leave that as is for now now module four i'll copy that i'll paste it in here paste press enter and then seven five now module five week seven i'll paste it in there and then we have module six copy and paste it in here press enter and then we have module 7 copied and then we'll paste it in here paste press enter and then we need a module 8 copy and we'll just create a new week add and we'll add that okay paste okay so now we have I'll break down here. We have module one up until module eight. Okay, with the breakdown. Now we can scroll up and see these are our learning objectives of the course, and we'll use an activity to display our learning objectives. From here, we can actually go into each module and start asking ChatGPT to provide us more detailed uh, results on this but more on this on the next video. All right, so now that Moodle is ready and set up with our course structure, let's go to our computer and create the structure on our computer so that when we populate the activities, um, we have the structure already on our computers. Okay, so let's go to our desktop. Remember, we have this Word document still, okay? So on our desktop, Let's just go to our desktop, right click, new, and then folder. Okay, so we'll create a new folder. And usually I name this folder the name of my course title. Okay, so I'll type in here using ChatGPT. For Moodle course. Okay, I press enter on my keyboard. Now within this folder, I'll create a different structure. Remember, within, remember our structure within ChatGPT, we have module one, which is introduction to Moodle. I'll copy that. I'll go to my desktop. I'll right click and create a folder. So this will be 
I'll just paste that name in there. So this will be module one. I'll go back to my chat GPT, then module two. I'll copy that, double click, and then I'll create a new folder. And then that folder name will be module two. So this will be module one, module two. Go to chat GPT again and create the others. Okay. So once I've created all of these, I'll come back and we can complete the video. Okay, so here we have, let's just increase the size. So here we have our modules one to eight with the naming of the modules. And within these modules, we'll create the weeks. Okay. Let's open our Word document. So this is my Word document and I'll save it, file save as. I'll save it to that particular folder on my desktop. So there we have my folder and I'll save it just as is and I'll call this my course overview. Okay. And I'll save it. So now our structure looks like this. We have our modules and we have our course overview. And from here, we will be developing Moodle activities for each of these modules within each of these weeks. In our next lesson, we'll dive deeper into setting up the learning objectives, the topics, as well as the assessments. And we'll use the activities within Moodle to actually create these um, course content. Okay. So using ChatGPT, to create a comprehensive course outline can be a game changer for educators and course creators. It streamlines the process and it maintains consistency, as you can see here, and it provides valuable assistance throughout. In our next lesson, we'll dive deeper into setting up this in Moodle. So we'll go into each module and then specify what needs to go into each module as well as the course objectives. I'll show you where to add the course objectives by making use of the book module. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel.